What's going on, it's Casey. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you're well, hope you're safe. So today's video is studio desk hacks for producers. So I've got a question asking me if I could talk about my studio desk. So I'm gonna share that with you and show you how you can create something similar or if not the same sort of setup that I've got. But before I do that, I need to shout out my two newest subscribers, Kinston and Eternal Dreamer. Thank you both for subscribing. I appreciate you both. I appreciate all my subscribers. You're all helping to build this community, build the channel so we can all learn from each other and grow and be the best at what we do. Favorite comment for this week coming from Michael Bearden. I hear that a lot, but I'll never get bored of it. I appreciate it. And it's just good to know that my videos are helping. Like I always say, there's no point in me holding knowledge when I ain't gonna benefit from it. So yeah, let's get into this video. <laughs> so the first time I moved in here, there's like a little utility room. Straight away I thought, yeah, that's gonna be the studio. The dimensions are off, but I'm making the best of it. I used to be in the building trade for like seven years. So I know how to build partition walls and suspended ceilings and put spotlights in and stuff like that. But so I've always had an idea of how I want my studio to look. It's not the finished product yet, getting there, but I want to talk about today's hack on how you can get the same setup or something similar that won't even cost you that much. So let's talk about the first setup I had. It was like a little worktop, piece of worktop from that you probably have in the, in the kitchen or something like that. And I put a bit of fablon on there. <laughs> Laughable. But at them times I liked everything dark sort of thing. I liked the, I had black stands for the, for my speakers, some metal stand. I had a brand shelf from Ikea. But it was a bit too dark. I can't remember exactly where I've seen it, but I put a search in on YouTube. I think it might have even been the Google. And then I seen the desk similar to what I've got now. And I thought, why not I do that? Upgrade. So that's what I did. So I took measurements for the space sort of where my worktop's gonna go. Or the Yeah, it's a worktop, like a piece of wood. Measured it, make sure that I could fit it in. But don't make the mistake that I did. I went for the cheaper worktop, thinking that would work. But then when I tried to screw the holes in to hold the speaker stands, it was like wafer, it's like a bit of wafer board. There's, it wasn't actual wood. So the one that I'm using now is actual wood. So when you screw into it, it's more secure, it's more safe. So don't make the mistake that I did and go for the cheaper one, pay a bit more and get the sturdy one that you're gonna need and that will help you. I can't remember the exact price that I paid for it, but I will leave links in the description below so you can see or work out how much each will cost. So what we've got is a piece of worktop, which is the actual desk for that sits the keyboard, the speaker stands, two legs, I'm gonna upgrade, did the bog standard legs that I use, you can get them from anywhere, somewhere like Wilco's. Two stands that are actually shelf stands, and then two square shelves to sit the speakers on. But be sure to check that your speakers can fit on them. I'm using the KRK VXD6 at the moment, and they fit nicely, but I know there's some kind of big studio monitors out there, like the, H the HS, H, the HS8s. They're quite big and bulky, so you've got to work out if your speaker stand's going to fit on them, or your speaker's going to fit them. Monitors, I should say. But then you can choose or decide which ones to go for. It's just it's just a standard shelf. So all you've got is worktop, shelf, two square shelves, two shelf stands, and four shelf legs. You don't have to do exactly the same that I've done, or you can, it's up to you. Different colours. I like the white theme at the moment, so that's why I chose the white. Especially when the lights are on as well, it gives it a nice finish. Oh, by the way, the lights are IKEA as well. So yeah, like I said, I'll leave a description. I'll leave that in the description box below so you can get some for your setup as well. So if you're wondering how to measure the speaker stands, then all you need to do is just measure from both sides of the worktop. What I did is come, I measured from the back of the wall, uh, I can't remember the exact measurements, and I just done the same for both sides. So come from the back of the wall to the left side of the wall in, can you see me? To the back of the wall, left side in, and then the back, the same on both sides. So both of the speaker stands will be in the exact same place. So one of the most important things for me as well was to have a slide out drawer so that I can put my keyboard on. So that's like a finishing touch to my workstation. All that is, is just a slide out drawer that you can screw up into the worktop. It's a bit awkward to do, but that's the job. You don't have to buy it from Ikea, you can buy it from any shop that sells this type of stuff, shelves, stands, worktop so you can get creative with it it's entirely up to you it's your studio so you make the decisions on how you want it to look so that's it really not much to it bit of worktop a couple of shelves stands and you can transform your whole studio got any questions drop a comment below or hit me up in insta dms always open always helping people if you like this video at all hit the like button hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you get notified anytime i put up a new video that's pretty usual i appreciate your time <laughs>